Hey, hi, everybody out there. How are you today? My name is Yomi Kasali. And today I want to share with you. Welcome to Inspire Today vlog. This is my video uh, outreach to you people to inform you, to encourage you to with scriptures. Don't forget our idea is to go through scriptures in Romans chapter 15, verse number 4, through comfort of scriptures that men out there may have hope. Listen, this COVID-19 pandemic is here. Indeed, it is frightening. Let me tell you what happened two days ago, or some few days ago. I remember I was in my house and I woke up in the morning. By the way, I slept in a very cool, air-conditioned environment. Very cool, very cool. My wife has been wondering how I've been coping. And I woke up and I sneezed. And I sneezed a second time. And I said, COVID, COVID, COVID. And I, I told myself, for well, COVID, this is what you do before now. Because you are sleeping on a dove, a very cool and cold environment. I sneeze. That's a natural thing that will happen when you come out of uh, such environment. And I just laughed at myself. And the Lord reminded me of Hebrews chapter 2, verse number 14 and 15. And I want to quickly encourage you and comfort you with this scripture. And I'll be spending one minute to pray with you. Hebrews 2, verse 14 and 15 says to us, um, For as much as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also likewise took part of the same. That through death, that's Jesus, he might destroy him that had power of death. That is the devil. So he said, that is the devil. Then the next verse says, and deliver, that's you and I, them who through fear of death <laughs> were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Through fear of death. Listen, the fear of death kills more people than death itself. I don't want you to live in fear this season. Don't live in fear. Refuse to let fear grip you like that and hold you like that. Refuse. Fight fear. God is on your side. God is your God. Don't let fear take you captive. Today I want to break the hold of fear over you. I have an anointing today. Through this vlog, I want to encourage you to look at that scripture that Jesus came to deliver them who through fear of death, not deliver death himself, the fear of death, who through the fear of death, in the previous verse, he said the person that has power over death is the devil, but because he had that power, he will not push out fear. Many of us are living in fear today, refuse to live in fear, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power of love and of sound mind. May I please once again ask you to find comfort from this scripture. Therefore, I'd like to pray with you, and as usual, I'd like to take you through our confession today. I will ask you to just 10 seconds, 15 seconds, make some confessional statements with me to say to you, say your heart, your heart is in God's hands and not in the hand of fear, of fear of death. Say after me, say, oh God, I thank you for today. I receive your word from Hebrews chapter 2 verse 15. You've come to deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. I refuse to be under bondage, to fear, or fear of death. I break off fear of death. I reject and resist the hold of fear on my heart, my conscience, my soul, and my life. I'm free, for your word tells us, he that the Son makes free shall be free indeed. I am free in Jesus' name. Amen. You're free. Give me two seconds. Let me just pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pronounce upon your sons and daughters out there, who've listened to this vlog and are encouraged and comforted with this scripture. I release you from the bondage of fear. I declare according to God's word that he has delivered you from the fear of death in the name of Jesus. You're free and you're free indeed. Free to walk as Christians and free to go and become blessed. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. See you tomorrow again on this vlog. Bye-bye. Hi everybody out there, my name is Yomi Kasali. Say, oh Lord, I thank you for today. Today I want to break the hold of fear over you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those watching my video right now.